Hello everyone, today we are going to talk about a new assignment operator uh, within a flow which was introduced uh, with summer 18 release and if you have been using flow for a while you might have noticed that to just to be able to um, get a number of uh, collection variable or number of elements in a collection variable you had to use a loop element and assign that variable into another variable and then get a count of that um, which was a kind of a lengthy process and um, so this uh, new element operator elements are going to be very uh, useful in those scenario and if you are new to flow it's not a problem at all and I'm going to walk you through uh, step by step on how to use this new operators uh, in the flow assignment elements. So let's get started. And um, today's um, scenario is a hypothetical scenario or you could modify it according to your need. So basically, I'm going to count the number of contacts on a count. And um, if the number of contacts is more than three, then your account is hot account. And if the number of contacts is less than three, then it is warm account. Um, and also, I want you to I want to mention here that it does, the flow doesn't fire on a delete of a contact, so that's something you need to keep in mind. Okay, uh, now let's get started. So, as usual, first of all, we'll use our fast lookup element. And if this is a new video for you, fast lookup element is mostly used when you are looking for for a list of um, list of contacts or list of records. So since we need all the contacts belonging to account, we need to use a fast lookup element here. So lookup contacts. And always add description when you are um, in your R. So I'm going to look up contact because that's what I need. Look up contact and uh, so this flow will fire on any time a contact is about to get created so you can either use any um, id so i'm going to use account id because that's what i will need to pull my contacts so anytime account id is equal to so the variable which i'm going to create here this variable will pass from the flow uh, from the process builder excuse me um, so where account id and add a description, this will be used from process, uh, this will be passed from a process builder. And let's make it input and output, we could use input only. And so account ID equals where account ID. And what do we want to store? We want to store this in a S object collection variable because you might get more than one context, which is why. So I'm going to say collection of contacts. Feel free to add description. And since it is a contact, you need to mention here that its object type is contact. Click OK. Um, assign null if no records are found, meaning if no contacts are found for that account. And I don't really care about contact information here because all we need is account of contact. So let's just uh, leave it to ID. So we have all the contacts from this fast lookup element. Now the next step is where we are going to use the assignment. So if I pull up the assignment and I say um, get the number of contacts and uh, the number of contacts is a number so for that we need to create a number type of variable. So data type will be a number currency number excuse me okay number um, input and output and hit ok so that's the number of contact and what that will be equal to so this is what I was talking about equals account so equals count which means it will just count us the number of elements present in this collection variable and it will assign it to that variable Okay, that's all it will do. Click OK and let's make sure we connect these two. Now, now we need to see if it is more than three or less than three, which is why we are going to use a logic uh, element, which is a decision element, right? Um, 
how much, how many contacts, or uh, something. It could be anything, uh, anything you like, but make sure it makes sense in your scenario. Um, greater than three question mark. Um, and then what are we measuring against? We are measuring against the number of contact, and we say that it's uh, greater than three. Let's say greater than or equal to three. Don't worry about the one I just found. Okay, so greater than three. Click OK. Alright, um, so what is our next step? We need to actually update the account uh, type, whether it is hot or warm. So record update. So we update account type. So what are we trying to update? We are trying to update account. So click account, and uh, the field could be since we are already passing the account ID. We just let's just use the same and stick to the same ID equals whatever ID we get from the flow, which will be the account ID get from the process builder. Excuse me, um, and then update records with variable constant into solid value. So what we need to update here is the type of uh, account. Or is it rating? Sorry, I think it is rating. Rating, yes. Rating is, um, if you scroll a little down, you'll see all the tick list values there. So it's greater than three, make it hot. And that's it. So let's make it rating. Sorry about that. Um, click OK, and now we know that we go, we can con connect this to. And when you try to connect, you get a pop up where it will ask you go to this decision element. If the go to this element, if decision outcome is greater than three, we that's what we want equal to. Um, so record update that. And if it is not greater than three, let's use another. Um, actually, let me show you one more trick. So you can just click on this if you are trying to repeat the name same flow we just click copy and then we paste it it took me a while to find this uh, trick I couldn't figure out what this copy paste are so if anybody uh, wants to use this it's very handy if you are trying to create a giant flow so a data account rating um, it needs to be a different name let's say warm and everything should be the same which is why we copied it and then the only thing different is that rating field rating value we need for warm click ok and when you try to connect this to it's the default outcome if you had multiple decision elements multiple um, decision um, outcomes here you would get that value also so you can actually map it to multiple um, elements, not just two. Okay, um, so this, let me go through this once again just to make sure um, everybody understands. So fast lookup is being used to get all the number of contacts, all the contacts belonging to that account. And don't worry about the var account ID variable right now because we will be using uh, account ID, we'll be passing that from the process builder. And then we are assigning it. This is the most important here. It calls count, and we are assigning, getting that value from the collection of contacts that we just created here. And then using the decision, we are updating the probe. Okay. Simple enough. And update count rating. Auto launch flow, and then I'm going to say okay and close it. Oh, so yeah, you need a start item. That we have a start item here, that green uh, arrow, save it, close it, and don't forget to activate it because if you don't activate, you will not see it in the process builder. Now that we have it active, we go to create a new process builder, new, and update, update rating of account. This API name should be different than the flow API name, otherwise it will not let you save it. 
save. Alright, um, add object. So we want to fire it whenever a contact is created. So when a record is created, let's leave it to that for now. And uh, add criteria. Let's just say there is no criteria. And all we care about is creation of contact for that account. But uh, in your situation, you might need to add some criteria depending on what you're looking for um, to make it quick and trying to avoid that. So we need to call close and update rating and uh, should be update count rating. This is uh, important if you are new to process builder and flow that you need to add a row and here it will show you all the variables for that flow but we don't worry about that we just need bar account id um, field reference and that should be equal to account id this one account id and save it and finally we will activate it now for the moment of truth let's I will go back to a contact. So let me go to account first and make sure the rating is. All right, so perfect. There is no rating here. Okay, there is no rating, and number of contacts here is one. And I will create a new contact and not contact contact. I'll create a new contact and see what happens. Save it. Hopefully, we don't get any error. And it's saved. Go back to that uh, account. It's time to refresh it because uh, sometimes it takes a while for it to load because of cache. And there we go, we have the rating warm. So that means we successfully created it and used the new um, new operators in flow assignment and we did not have to use any loop element. How cool is that? Alright, um, I hope this was helpful and um, please let me know if you have any questions related to flow or process builder. Thank you so much for watching.